interior of the earth. The characteristics of the materials found from the surface to the center of the earth vary considerably. The crust, the mantle, and the core are the three divisions or parts of the interior of the earth. They are identified on the basis of the characteristics of the material. The outermost layer is formed of solid rocks. It is called the crust. The division below the crust is called the mantle. The crust and a portion of the mantle adjacent to it are together called the lithosphere. The lithosphere is about 100 kilometers thick. The division below mantle is called the core. The crust. The thickness of the crust is not uniform. It is about 40 kilometers under the continent, whereas it is about 8 kilometers below the oceans. In the mountainous regions, like the Himalayas, it is up to about 70 kilometers. The average thickness of the crust is 30 kilometers. The two parts of the crust are Sial and Sima. Sial. The upper portion of crust is called Sial. The rocks in this layer have predominance of silica and aluminium. As these elements are lighter in weight, they are found in the upper layer of the crust. Most of the continents are formed out of Sial. The layer is thicker in the continental portion than in the oceanic portion. Sima The layer below Sial is called Sima. Most of the oceanic base is formed out of this layer. The rocks in this layer consist of the compounds of silica and magnesium. This layer is heavier than Sial. The mantle. The layer below the crust is called the mantle. The thickness of this layer is about 2,870 kilometers. It consists of the compounds of iron and magnesium. The rocks in the upper 100 to 200 kilometers of the mantle melt due to heat. Due to the magma created in this layer, magma chambers are found in this part. When the magma reaches the surface through volcanic activity, it is called lava. The core. This layer lies below the mantle and has a thickness of 3,471 kilometers. It is subdivided into two parts called the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is in liquid state while the inner is in solid state. This layer contains heavy and hard substances. The inner core predominantly comprises iron and nickel. Hence, it is also called knife. The center of the earth is located at a distance of 6,371 kilometers from its surface. From the surface to the center, certain changes occur in the interior of the earth. They are as follows. 1. The process of cooling of the earth started from the surface. Hence, the temperature is higher towards the core. This increase in temperature generally takes place 
at the rate of 1 degree Celsius per 32 meters of the depth. This means that though the surface is cool, the core is very hot. The temperature at the center of the Earth is estimated to be 5000 degrees Celsius. 2. The density of the material increases towards the center. 3. The primary waves of earthquake can travel through all the layers of the interior. However, while traveling through the core, the direction changes. The secondary waves cannot travel through the liquid outer core. The study of earthquake waves has helped in determining the different layers of the interior and their boundaries. There exist considerable differences in the temperature, density and state of the materials in the interior of the earth. These differences give rise to a number of movements. This indicates that the interior of the earth is unstable.